for you. <laughs> well, I had a phone call about 6.30 this morning. Our organist got stung by a bee on her hand yesterday. And her hand swelled up and it started up her arm. So she was in uh, the Medi Clinic, got huge dose of prednisone and stuff. And this morning she got up and she was so dizzy she couldn't get up. Some of the side effects of prednisone. So she's out for the count. <laughs> so I had to go in and wake my husband up at 6.30 and say, Peter, get it together. <laughs> so in doing that, and doing that, I took the opportunity to change a few things. <laughs> so, follow the hymn board. Don't follow your boards. <laughs> follow the hymn boards. Um, I changed a couple of things to go with the message today. And I have to tell you, it's fun. So we'll see how much fun we have with it today. Welcome, update on Lori. Tomorrow Lori is having surgery to place the mechanical heart, the, the big one, into her heart. And then in a couple of weeks she'll be transferred to uh, West Penn for cardiac rehab. And if all goes well, then home. So she's not out of the woods, but she's doing better. I have to tell you that she's truly enjoying the cards and notes. Please don't stop those. Continue to send cards and notes to her house, and the family is getting them to her. Um, seemed like there was one more thing. I guess not. OK, anyway, anything that needs to be announced before we get started? Oh, Deborah got her daughter married yesterday. And some of you were there. Um, I'm so thankful it came off that her dad was well enough to walk her down the aisle. And all the stress of that wedding is now over. And from all the pictures I've seen, it was beautiful. So many, many thanks for prayers. Because I know Deborah drives us crazy, but she's, you know, this was really important for her, and I'm really glad that it turned out well. Okay? Let us prepare our hearts and minds to receive the Word of God. Would you please stand if you are able? Let us confess our sins before God and one another. God of joy and sorrow, we come into your house with the noise and cares of the world bearing down on us. We expect you to fix it and make it go away. Instead, do you offer space for us to repent, refresh, and restore? Forgive us our short-sightedness, forgive us our selfishness, for us our impatience. Show us how to enter your house with gratitude and prayers. Our God receives our pleas with open ears and a forgiving heart. Receive now the entire forgiveness of all of your sins and be washed with the cleansing sound of God's grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, we're going to sing 770 and we're going to do three verses.
Let us pray. Almighty God, you sent your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of the church. Open our hearts to the riches of your grace, that we may be ready to receive you wherever you appear. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in the days. Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield. Your reward shall be great. But Abraham said, O Lord God, what will you give me? For I continue childless, and the heir of the house of Israel and the of Israel of Damascus. And Abraham said, You have given me no offspring, and so a slave born in my house is to be with my heir. But the word of the Lord came to him. This man shall not be your heir. No one but your very own issue shall be your heir. He brought him outside and said, Look toward the heaven and count the stars, if you are able to count them. Then he said to him, So shall your descendants be, and he will lead the Lord, and the Lord will him and it to him as a righteousness. The word of our Lord. Happy is the nation who God is the Lord. Happy the people chosen to be God's inheritance. The Lord looks down from heaven and sees all in the God sits firmly in the throne and watches all who dwell on the earth. God fashions all our hearts and the of A king is not saved by the size of the army, nor are the warriors, pursued by their great strength. Be dressed for action and have your life. 
lambs lived, be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet, so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those whose slaves whom the master finds a work when he comes. Now truly I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. If he comes during the middle of the night, or near dawn, and finds them so, blessed are those slaves. But know this, if the owner of the house had known at what time the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Have a seat. Kids, I'd really like to have you come down today. We have things to talk about. Mm -hmm. Asia, would you run in and get the papers off of the printer for me, please? I forgot to print it.
Thank you for giving us faith to believe in you and the things you've taught us to do. Amen. All right, go back to your seats and listen. Genesis 
tells us the earth was formless and empty. Only darkness was on the surface of the deep. At this point, there was something. Something had to come into being by the prior step, by God's creative power. Science and God do coexist together. And I think we're getting so close to realizing this with this John Wright telescope. If you haven't read about it, it is unbelievable. It's breaking records. It's performing intriguing observations in just the first weeks it was there. One week after the telescope was released, the first scientific images detected galaxies at Redshift 13. I don't know that I came out with some of these words, but okay. It equated to 300 million years after the Big Bang. Not long after that, new results suggest astronomers are blasting past the metric with detections up to Redshift 20. And if that's confirmed, those galaxies are quite early as they existed just 200 million years after the Big Bang. Science has said for a long time that there was nothing just dark. Nothing. With this telescope, they're hoping to get way beyond the things that they see through the infrared whatevers in the mirrors on this telescope are letting us see things happen that happened billions of years ago. Was there a big bang? Probably. But who created that big bang, guys? Was there nothing? Yeah. And then there was something. Scientists can't answer that. They're hoping to see it someday. Well, our God is a massive God. He could take nothing and create it. What's astounding to me is that mathematically, science had the theory that the universe began from absolutely nothing, and then there was this thing, and the universe began, began forming. I think it will be absolutely awesome if someday we have a telescope that can take us all the way back, and they can see that very beginning. But believe me, God's hand is going to be in that thing that started the universe. I think this is really exciting. Thanks be to God. Amen. All right. The end of the day, did he change it? Uh, no, it's still there. If you're able, please stand and sing the end of the day. <coughs> Kelly, you need to just remember I like the chorus so much you request. That's the same chorus twice at the end? Yes. Okay.
received by the power of the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Virgin Mary. The second of the conscious pilot was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I will believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The prayers of the Church. Trusting in God's joy and love, let us come near to the Holy One in prayer. Let your loving kindness be upon your church. Fill all who proclaim the gospel with your spirit. Equip your flock to speak your word of the promise and hope in the midst of fear and uncertainty. Merciful God. Let your loving God be upon your creation. Dwell among us and sustain our earth and home. In places of the fame, provide nourishment. In places of plenty, fashion, fashion us to be good, spirit of your, of your bounty. Merciful God. Merciful God. Let your loving kindness be upon your kingdom. Be our helpful and our shield in the places formed by strife and violence. Ways of courageous leaders to govern with compassion and justice. Merciful God. Receive our prayer. Let your loving kindness be upon your child. Look upon all who wait for your steadfast lust. Counsel those who grieve and embarrass those who cry out to you. Help us trust your arms and not be afraid. Merciful God. Receive our prayer. Let your loving kindness be upon this community. Fashion our hearts to strive for the way of peace. Drink in the outreach mysteries of these congregations and all who care for all those in need. Receive our prayer. Will Thanksgiving be remembered all who have died in faith and have rest in you? As they place their hope in you, so strengthen us to trust in your promises of our, our life. Merciful God. Receive our prayer. Receive the prayers of your children, merciful God, and hold us forever in your steadfast love through Jesus Christ, our holy wisdom. Amen. Amen. We are, you may be seated, and we will take up our offering. Now, go turn to page 186 in your hymnal and sing that tune for creating me. I think you'll know it by heart.
praise to you, almighty and merciful God. You reveal your glory as the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Equal in majesty, undivided in splendor, one Lord, one God, ever to be adored in your eternal glory. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord took bread, gave thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father,
and His grace. Amen. Thank you. 